this here. Yeah. Because I, I don't feel like cutting this out. Yeah, of you. No, that'd be These are pretty big. Yeah, yeah. No, I should have met Bro, him. I would have framed this shit. That's it, right? That's history right there. I was happy with how the cards came out, though. All right, y'all. So today, I wanted to bring you guys the conversations with the worker team. This is Dion, the designer, and KD, the guy who handles all of our fulfillment and operations. We wanted to document all the small moments that are leading up to the building up of the brand. Right now, specifically, all of the not worker black car rose tees have touched down, and we are in the process right now of signing all the orders for you guys. Just like personally thanking each and every one of you guys for supporting as well as we we got custom made thank you cards for to include in all the orders for the black heart rose tees and to give back for you guys for supporting the first ever not worker drop we are giving all of you guys early access to worker season one before the public before the workshop attendees before everything as a personal thank you for all of your guys' support. <clears throat> and we're gonna do our best to support all the orders as well so that you guys are actually able to even have worker in hand in person before everyone else. Like, I want people to pull up to you guys and be like, how the hell do you have that already? Because they don't, they don't know. It's a if you know, you know type thing. Mm. So we have a thank you card just thanking you guys for supporting. And then on top of that, we have a scratch off sticker. Just get a coin, just like how you guys have like scratch off uh, like lottery tickets or just anything from like your childhood. And, or a key, it could be a key as well. And you'll be able to scratch off this area right here on the thank you card to reveal the password to be able to access the site to shop the collection. But this is talks with the working team. People are asking about the size shards. We're gonna make all the size shards. That'll yeah, be, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about that. Bro, bro, that's one thing I love that y'all do. Y'all, y'all got that bitch down to a T every single time. Because people don't know like how how the stuff fits. They just the only frame of reference, reference they have is just like us. Yeah, oh, uh, it killed me whenever you posted here. Like Dion's five eight. <laughs> <laughs> That was a perfect photo when that happened, bro. I love that. Somebody said, would you guys be selling kits of this drop, like a box? Imagine like a box and they get to select their sizes and then they put it all in there and you could like discount it as well. It's an interesting idea. But that's just you. That's a, and we were gonna we were gonna do that for, for something else. But it's they, like a, the only thing with that is like it's a nightmare. No, the yeah, right that's right. the only thing. Like, like the idea of it is perfect. You're where it's like, like packing wise, like the execution pack, of it. Yeah, like packing wise, the size selection when it comes to check out the fulfillment to make sure that nothing's fucked up. Like all this, getting the boxes. The box is getting we'll invaded. It's not even we'll that bad. Good, bro, on that. That, that won't be I mean, it's not as bad because we don't have as many SKUs. Right, yeah. It's Even also then, bro, like, it's I feel like that's a thing down the road. It is definitely a thing down the line. But if it's for a collection like that, it's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Yeah. Because we know what's what now. We know what supposed to go and then we know it's the whole fucking pack. I mean I would love to do that and be able to even like try, like have a special edition box for the entire collection and then like discount it as well. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think in the a future thing for sure. Right. right. Well, the worker utility knife. Dude, when I posted this people were asking for a worker utility knife. Dude. Yeah, I don't, I'm down to do it. I'm yeah, down. I think that knife is like eight years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess some type of like switchblade shit like this, I'd be so unbelievably down to do that. The, the, like, the, the main question that I'm getting now, because I feel like we've established a lot of the lore of the brand, is like people are just asking about the price point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like, we're gonna work that out. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna, but like, everything can be super reasonable. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, the pricing, I mean, we've already talked about it. It's way more reasonable than what people are paying for right now. Yeah, especially in this economy, in a recession, should be crazy. So it's actually pretty chill. It's actually probably lower than every brand. No, it honestly is. It is. And like the thing is, is we're gonna we're gonna charge a lower price point, but like our stuff's gonna be higher quality. That's the thing. That's why it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, yeah. And people are asking what are the, what's the difference between the worker and not worker garments. What's the difference? Go ahead. I would, say, I would say that they're pretty similar as far as like quality and feel. Yeah. But the biggest difference is uh, in them primarily like the the double layer t-shirt. Yeah. One that's heavier than yeah. like ours. Because they, the people that are watching this right now, they're going to be getting their double layer tees in the mail. Yeah. Those are heavier than what you're going to get with like just our regular yeah. prop or yeah. our regular this, oversized tee. This tea. shit feels so But good, I will say bro. this. <laughs> The the black heart rose tee, the regular one, the not the double layer one, is very similar to what to expect, like with the worker t-shirt and the oversized as far as feel, 
uh, quality and just like the heftiness of the garment. Yeah, well, I remember that name. But yeah, so I mean, if you're buying the Not Worker, as far as like the regular t-shirt, that's what you can expect from like the t-shirt that I'm wearing and then uh, the t-shirt Sean's wearing right now and then uh, the crop tee as well. The only garment that's super heavy in the collection is the utility. Yeah, the, the hoodie is very heavy, heavyweight. I don't mind it though. I wear hoodies. No, I love it. I don't I, I, love hoodies, bro. People, are, really people are asking like, why are you dropping the hoodie in the summer? I mean, initially like, we would have loved to drop the hoodie. I would have loved to drop the hoodie back in March, but yeah. like the hoodie was not ready back then. You know what I mean? And like taking our time over everything is like the most important part to just deliver like a complete package. You know what I'm saying? If you're smart. You shop for winter clothes in the summer. That's, <laughs> I swear, because half, half of it be on sale. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, me yeah. personally, I've never really cared about the season that I bought something. Like, if no, I want something, either. I just kind of. A lot of other brands, they just drop whenever they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, bro. I wear hoodies in my house no matter the time of year. So it's like, yeah, bro, I wear hoodies outside. You probably shower in a hoodie. <laughs> I no, I live in my because I mean we're in my apartment right now. It's freezing cold in here. Feels good though. It, feel, it does feel good. Perfect for nah, sleeping. It's, it's cold in here. It is. <laughs> I got the long sleeve. <laughs> Gee, are you cold? I'm wearing a long sleeve. I'm smart. Like the whole like not worker thing is like an Easter egg where it's like with not worker is an avenue for us to release products through like that are like intrusive thoughts almost, just like the whole black heart rose thing that don't necessarily fit the parameters for the aesthetic of worker and uh like we still want to do our thing to release you know what i'm saying like that's that's the what i see it it's as. literally just for fun it's really just for fun when everyone release fun products that like doesn't classify as worker like whether it's like a paperweight or like anything else some other shit like, like anything that doesn't really fit the theme of worker and what we're trying to really push with that like worker is just like it's just kind of like a, a parody thing it's just yeah, for fun. yeah it's, it's really just for fun like and what we just always want to find like small ways to just give back you know for the yeah. people that do support those small little side ventures you know what i mean because it all just it all is gonna like play in together you know what i mean it's like the opposite of worker it's like, yeah and now everybody that's supporting <laughs> And plus, we don't really like, bro. It's the first drop. Yeah, it's our first ever drop, and I've never felt like this. I've never felt so much like support or like compassion for a brand that like technically isn't even real yet. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people will say to me, like they'll, they'll give their own personal spin as to like what worker means to them, or like which is dope. which is so cool, and I'm like super grateful for it, or like how certain how they on their own connect to like what we have what we're building you know what i mean mm -hmm. and um oh. it just like i didn't expect that because it's like worker like isn't even real yet you know what i'm saying it's yeah not. it grew a lot this is in not the last it's like not. uh two months when we really started to kind of like building it out and mm -hmm. pushing like the ethos of the brand and what it's about and like the reaction has been like pretty humbling very um, humbling but it's like, it's pretty cool to me because it just like, it shows that kind of like the real life stories and the real life um, behind the brand, like kind of like our reality mm -hmm. is like relatable to them too. It's like we have that common, common we're normal understanding. People, right? I mean, everybody, that's what I was telling them talking to people. this kid. I was like, I was like, the thing about humans is like, we have so much in common. We just don't like talk about anything that we've actually experienced yeah. in like in life. So. I think like the ethos of the brand is like relatable to you no matter <laughs> really your situation. Everybody's went through something or working towards something or going through something or yeah. has had life things happen, um, had to overcome something. There's so much. Everyone has something that they're working towards. And it's not it's not all the same. That's the good thing. That's, like, yeah. Yeah. That's everybody cool. has. Everyone has their own unique stories. And like one thing with workers, I want to be able to give people the avenue to be able to tell their stories. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like what they've been through, the things that they're it. they're struggling through, their hardships, and just like real life eyewitness like testimonials. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like reality is like everyone, everyone has to work towards everything that they want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like nothing's handed to them. You know what I mean? Like you really have to get it from like the bottom if you if you want to like achieve what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like no one's gonna hand it towards you. So I just feel like. The brand message just like that's what that kind of pertains to. Shipping in Italy. 
Yeah, so we're gonna have international international shipping, but I need to I need to talk with DHL and try to get like an account with them where we can ship for much cheaper because um, one of my biggest goals is I want to have like a heavy international presence with Worker, but it's it's just it's tough because. I mean, as you guys know, if you guys live in other countries and you buy from the U.S., the shipping is just so expensive. So on like, both sides, on both like sides, to ship and then to like receive, yeah, to receive, and and this economy too, crazy. So like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my due diligence to try to make it the best or the the most affordable for everyone. You know, but I mean, that's just something that I feel like I need to build to rather than just doing all for it. Because like, this is like the first drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't. The first not drop. Exactly. But even like coming up with like season one, it's just Dude, I'm excited for season I'm excited I'm excited for season one too, but I feel like I have so many other things that are like demanding my attention or that I gotta like take care of before I care or I, I worry about making the international shipping as cheap as possible. But like it's yeah. a big goal of mine. Well, once it gets going, that. we gotta earn that. Yeah. Do you see worker diving more into bottoms as well as tops? Yeah, so we wanted to do well, I mean, I had the idea to do more bottles of season one, but I wanted to keep the, the collection like just concise. Uh, there's gonna be things coming down the line, like joggers, pants, um, just different silhouettes that aren't just shorts and different materials of shorts, different cuts, different fabrics, different feels. Um, all those things like I want to build to, you know what I mean? This is just like the first glimpse of it, but definitely is like a big goal. It's like I want to have like a diverse like variety of silhouettes, most definitely. Like even, even like down the line, the what we have planned with like this fall, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's going to be something that like, in my opinion, people are really going to like be intrigued yeah, by. different hoodie silhouettes, different silhouettes and certain items, definitely joggers for sure. Definitely a silhouette of jogger that we're going to work on and sample. And take uh, our time on. Yeah, because we're very like, we wear joggers a lot and uh, like I wear joggers all year round, Sean wears joggers pretty much all year round, so yeah. it's like, we definitely want to create a jogger that we're like that. super happy <laughs> with. That's the next bottom that we're like super focused on getting right. Mm -hmm. And then obviously like some other, other pieces, but we're just gonna like take everything drop by drop, you know, just see how everything is going. Yeah. Um, Be analytical. We're not gonna rush anything. Yeah. Like, like, no we're not. That. We're not. We're not like, in the business to do that. We're not trying to be brands that you are used to that are just dropping things to be dropping things every month, yeah. every couple weeks. Drop just to drop. <laughs> and just like. Because what's the point in that? It, like it has no real basis or real meaning behind it. It's like that. Re that really doesn't resonate with us too much. Um, so, Josh have a story. It's too. It's yeah. too like fast fashion. I guess yeah. you could say so. And we're trying to get away from like the industry has become way too much fast fashion and just pumping bullshit out. Whether it's like 30, 40 skews a drop, like that's a lot of skews. It, it, yeah, skews. I'm never exaggerating. But like the point still stands where it's like we just would rather take our time and put in like double or triple the effort to create like a quality line that like people are that are, are going to be timeless staples in people's collections that like they're always going to be able to resort back to or always be able to mix and match with different pieces or always be able to like fall back on that yeah. isn't gonna be like outdated in time. That's you know the biggest I mean? thing is we want you to be able to wear like, let's just say hypothetically like a season five drop with season one or season two or three or four or five. Like you can always interchange it because you know, we're still staying on brand and on theme with what we are, but also we're not really in the business of like creating and dropping products that we're not happy with. Why would we like well, put we something up for sale that, that we're not happy with or that we're not going to wear? And yeah. expect them to be... That's the whole point of that's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so funny because all these brand owners don't wear their clothes. Yeah. <laughs> like when you see a brand owner but they don't even wear their stuff, like it rubs me the wrong way because it's like, I feel like you're not even living your brand. They wear, you know they I mean? wear the actual brands in the world respectfully but uh, um somebody go or stanley brown goes we see and love the vision how do we best rep worker and not worker keep living your goddamn life the same way it is yeah just keep keep you know carry that mindset or that mentality that we've been preaching or that we live 
throughout your day to day. Like even when no one's watching, like that's the most important part. It's not about what people are watching, it's what are you doing and how are you living when nobody is, you know? Mm. But then on top of that, like is just from like poetry club? <laughs> some snaps after that. Snaps, bro. Um, but I mean, like you know, we don't even have a drop yet. But what I really liked about what um, what we've been able to do is just the the worker PNG file that I've been posting in my Discord that people have been overlaying on top of their uh, their videos and like adding the cooler temperature aesthetic to their videos. I think that's like a great way for like people to like be able to like identify with their content, um, to like be a part of like what we have going on without like the clothes even being a thing yet. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, like a big goal of mine with workers is to have a lot of community events. Obviously we're having the workshop June 1st here in Houston, but like that's really just like the tip of the iceberg. Like this fall, I want to be I want to come to the East Coast this fall and like have a big meet up there where it's just like we're just flooding it out. Like you everyone know that would do numbers. Well, I'm just saying like you know that would I, I just want like every I want everyone to be there, just flooded out there and worker, just like connecting, meeting each other, networking, and just like just like the feeling that people would get from being a part of something like that is like it, like I want to be able to give people a real like true like deeply connectable experience, you know what I mean? Where it's like, they're always gonna remember, it's not even about the clothes, like they're just gonna remember it for the event, you know what I'm saying? Like the feeling they got while they were at the event, and just like getting the opportunity to have conversations with you guys, like you guys get the chance to talk to Dion, KD, like talk to the team, all that stuff. Like that's like, that's to me, like what those like community events are like all about. How much is the hoodie? So for everyone like asking about the prices, the prices haven't been finalized yet. The hoodie, I'm gonna do my best to keep it like as affordable as possible because I want everyone to be in it. Um, but like the hoodie, the hoodie, it's like there's a lot that goes into the hoodie, man. Like the hoodie costs a lot to make, you know what I mean? So it does cost it, a lot. It costs a lot to make. Like, oh, I'm telling you guys right now, like no, like no other brands that are like dropping hoodies, like they're putting that much into making the hoodie and like making it as quality as it is. Like it's just, it's just not a thing, you know? Yeah, what they would charge for that. Yeah, they would charge double what we're gonna charge. Like, no, actually, they charge probably triple, triple, low key. Yeah, like no exaggeration, at least double. Like that's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Honestly, for that, that's cheap. But we're selling the hoodie for. I know it is. I know. But I mean, I want people to have it. Like that's that's what's most important to me. So like, I'm okay. Like, I want to I want to charge less for it so people can have it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Uh, will the only stock be available at the event? Okay, so the way that the event is going to unfold is obviously uh, the not worker customers. You guys are gifted with first dibs on uh, the and entire of, of season one. <laughs> yeah, and so all the remaining stock after not worker is uh, the early access goes out is going to be put out at uh, the workshop event. Like I said, June first in Houston. Shameless plug. But then we are also going, like after that, all the remaining stock is what's going to be publicly available. Game plan is for like a week later after the in-person event. So when you guys see this video, the intention is to drop worker a week after the in-person event, if all things go to plan. But I mean, things are up for change depending on how certain things play out. But on the timeline that we're on now and the way things have unfolded, I don't think we'll have a problem doing that. Yeah, bro, y'all pull into the event. I'll come take care of you, don't worry. <laughs> Do you plan on releasing different colors of worker? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna release different iter iterations of like the overall aesthetic, like different colors and whatnot. Different. I would say, oh, just be honest with them. We're not, we're not releasing no fruity booty, all that other stuff. Yeah, no. Like, what essentially is like booty. The, the the aesthetic we're not doing is like all the blues, purples, reds. No, we're, like Worker is not like a bright and flashy brand, and it's never going to be. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's always going to be dark. It's always going to be grungy. Um, we're gonna tastefully make different iterations or variants of that. You know what I mean? But like it's never going to get away from like its core aesthetic. We're never gonna be changing the complete look or like doing 180s with the way the brand, like that doesn't make any sense. That's not what real brands do, you know what I mean? Like, like brands have their core aesthetic, or like an umbrella of like what they look like and they operate within those parameters. That's exactly how we're gonna do it. It doesn't make sense that all the main color palette of the brand is like black and gray and tones of black and gray and then to be dropping like pink, pink and yellow and yeah. all these other colors. Like it doesn't really make sense. I think we are, we'll definitely like play with iterations of um, 
like contrast colors for sure you know what i'm saying like little things here and there but like most of the drops are going to be like dark 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 tones always so just to keep it on brand like you know and keep it like what we said earlier we want you to be able to wear each collection with each collection in the future exactly so it all needs to be interchangeable yeah like I mean, the way that i look at it is like a lot of the brands that are super successful like you know what they are as, as soon as like you see plan. it as soon as you see it you know what they are you, mm -hmm. you know the colors you know what all of it is so it's like all that stuff is important in my opinion so yeah i wouldn't expect any like flashy colors and all that because there's plenty of brands that already do that and uh yeah that's just not what worker is the no workers. Will there be extras or leftover black heart rose shirts? No. no. So we got the exact number of quant like the pre-order numbers. That's what we sent off to get made. So we don't have like an extra allocation of stock that will be available for people to choose from, which is why I kind of left the window open longer than I initially said I was going to leave it open for purchase because I wanted people to be able to see what we were doing and like. Be, yeah, in, man. yeah. Get the chance to shop in. because I mean, I said it, it wasn't coming back, you know, like, and that that's the plan. I don't, I really don't plan to bring it back. And that's why I bought my own. <laughs> um, have a part of history. Yeah, First ever right. not worker drop. Because like, I want there to be multiple, multiple not worker drops like through time. You know what I mean? So how should we wash them? I would just recommend cold water. Cold water, and then don't use high heat if you guys use a dryer for your clothes. You know, I, I think high heat is like one of the worst things you can Shit, do. Shit, sometimes I just put them on a hanger and leave them in so the garage. So we have the time. directions on the label, but I yeah. know nobody actually, nobody actually reads the wash the tag. Nobody does that. So if you're going to wash and dry your stuff, just wash it either with cold water or lukewarm water, and then um, honestly just tumble dry it on low. Don't tumble dry it on high heat if you can. Hang dry most of it, and then that's what I do. I usually hang dry and then take a steamer to my clothes personally to take out the wrinkles. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just like it makes it last longer. But if you just don't and they don't do shrink, that, just tumble dry it on low. Tumble dry it on low, however many times, and then like you don't have to worry about any of the mishaps when people just don't know how to wash and yeah. take care of their clothes. That's the biggest problem. But they don't actually wash and dry their clothes properly. We would put that shit on heavy heat. And then they Got wonder the why they wonder cooking. why the shirt or the hoodie or the shorts are all that. Yeah, bro, you just did it exactly what the label told you not to <laughs> do. That's what I'm saying. And they wonder why they're next to you. <laughs> bro, what? Talk about can you look left? No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked, any a, any chance for us to be able to work directly with you or do we have to live in Houston? I was gonna um, actually bring that up. Like I know people have asked like to be a part of work or like yeah like the behind the scenes yeah. you know um i feel like that's hard for me to give like a good answer to like right now um i would just say like i think the best opportunity to like put yourself out there and meet the team is really just to come to, come to these in-person events and uh put yourself out there and meet the team meet these people you know like we want to like shake your hand we want to get to know you guys and um you know if if there's any type of future that could pertain with something of that nature, you know, I feel like that's the best way to like get your foot in the door or go about it at least to me personally. Yeah. That's what I did. I don't really, cause we're like kind of just starting. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, just come to the events, come to the events, be a part of the community, talk with people, uh -huh. you know, and then whatever happens, happens, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Oh, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Throw back to Brenda's, man. After the first worker launch, I want us all to just go to Brenda's and just reminisce a little bit. Get that like, corner uh, booth. Get corner. <laughs> the corner booth. <laughs> the marks, holy shit. Bro, what the big ass marks? I mean, I feel a little twisted too. <laughs> so do I. Shit, dude. That says a lot. I probably laugh out after one now. Come on, dude. Break me. Nah, nothing will ever be Vegas Ant. Vegas Ant was different. Uh, <laughs> Vegas Ant, dude. Dude, I think when I was heavier, I could handle alcohol, but like not like 30 pounds down. Like, well, Vegas oh, Ant got his ass whooped because you wasn't talking English for 10 minutes. You got right. <laughs> Bro, I have a video. It was me, Duhan, and Ant. We're in the lobby of the hotel. We're just getting. We're going margarita shot, margarita shot, margarita shot. Y'all were different. Bro. It was multiple nights. I remember we showed up and we were like. 
Twisted team. Dude, I was struggling to walk straight. I remember, like, in my head. But the only reason you walked straight is because I was guiding you. I know. I'm like, I was in my head. I'm like, dude, I can't walk straight right now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be the same uh, server ladies, too. Like, every night. Bro, time. what? She was trying to get you. That's what no, it was. I was looking out for us. <laughs> Yeah. And me and Dylan be like, nah, he's good. He's good. He's good. Just get us another round. If we have a young one, bro, we're gonna go with their eighth process for show. <laughs> oh hell, I've been putting I'm people's names on these. You. Is that hand hurt? What are you Yeah. Remember when you'd be in school and you had to write fast as hell? Sit so like on notes and yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, the the, the class is about to end and then your hand would start cramping. That was the worst. They wouldn't even wait. Whole ass teachers. I feel like the. Kids today, like they don't have to go through that. They just type now. They get iPads. Like I feel like we got laptops when I was in like eighth grade, but I feel like every grade younger and younger now they get. Like I think like in. Bro, you're part school, of that though. bit. <laughs> no, I mean, I, listen, I'm part of the problem, but it got worse after <laughs> that. I promise you that. Bro, I didn't start using a laptop till I got in college, and it wasn't even my first year. Yeah, I think I'm part. Of that. I didn't start using a laptop till I graduated. That's so good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm over here talking about eighth grade. Yeah, you said I had a laptop in eighth grade. Yeah. Brother, you are part of them. I be forgetting that I'm like the youngest person in this room right now. You are. You are? Yeah.